What we're seeing here is the Enic Lab software. Much like how Spec Lab, Sim Lab, and Cabs Lab are extensions for their respective pedals, this here is an extension for the Enigma EQ. Let's take a closer look. Immediately, right in the middle, we notice these curves that are synced to the pedal. Let's talk about the currently active EQ mode here, the parametric EQ. This behaves much like how an EQ plugin would behave, where you can enable bands, move them around, choose the filter type, and adjust the parameters. What's neat about this one is when you've got bands that are boosting so much that the pedal gives up on showing the higher dBs, this plus button will expand the range and thus show the otherwise invisible curves. Also, if you ever happen to get the handles overlapping each other, like this for example, a right click will show you the overlapping bands. You can then change the focus to the band you want to control. Let's go to the EQ selector dropdown. We can switch the active EQ by clicking on this menu. For instance, this is the simple EQ. All the types are visible and can be chosen here as well. This one is Pultec EQ, and the knobs will change accordingly. Moving to the left, and with a rather familiar interface, is our preset manager. This behaves much like Spec Lab and Sim Lab, except for one thing. The presets are now draggable for swapping purposes. Grab this icon here and drop it accordingly. And when your changes are made, this preset save section will let you navigate to the preferred patch you want your settings to be written on. It will then highlight the preset writing destination. But at that point, the changes still need to be finalized. When everything is good, click the right button and you're ready to go. Below is the options section. This expands all the options available on the pedal, removing the need to menu dive the Enigma. The expander, limiter, input pad, EQ independence, master volume, and boost are controllable as well. Now, within the menu, we can navigate to the global settings to adjust the internal routing of the EQs, auxiliary connection mapping, etc., between these two pages here. A snippet of the manual is also accessible in this section. And back to the menu, just below the global settings options, we can see and adjust the MIDI functions mapping. This is exclusively available on the Enic Lab software. Here, the CC number could be remapped to your preference. And speaking of features that could only be done through the Enic Lab software, there's an option in the menu where you can back up the stored presets. This will generate a file on your system and can be restored in the future. And last but not least, at the very top of the UI, we can see this prototype selector button. This will show the available prototypes you can build your EQs from, and the prototypes are specific to the currently active EQ as you can see here. And that's it for the introduction of the Enic Lab software for the Enigma. Both of the Windows and Mac OS version of this are available on gfisystem.com. Thank you for tuning in.